So I got a video from Anthony Bodanza, a YouTuber and an avid disc golfer who's practicing a lot. Clearly a motivated guy. So motivated that he asked me to make a form check for him. And I did. And I found a timing problem. So the timing problem is the biggest problem of them all. Like 99.99% .99 of people who send me form check re requests have a timing problem. And what do I mean by timing? Well, the timing is this. You are fully coiled in your reach back position. Then the front leg hits the ground and the back leg is in the air. This is proper timing. Now, we see in Bodanza's clip is that he's still on the back leg like this and tries to throw. So there is no weight shift going on. It's just pure upper body action. And this is bad. This is slow and this can hurt you in the long run. Here is a human body at its resting position. Standing straight. No tension whatsoever. We want to be in this position. To create power, we need to create tension. So here is a coiled position. This is tension because the body wants to come back to this position, wants to return. So when we are in this reach back position and we get to our front leg, this uncoiling happens without the upper body doing anything. Now, if the weight is on our back leg in the wrong time is not on the front leg and we are here I can be here for as long as I want to so the back leg is preventing me from uncoiling there's nothing that uncoils me now because the back leg is here and I'm stuck as soon as I get from back leg to the front leg like this I didn't do anything and I uncoiled because this is what happens automatically. Now, if you're on your back leg and you want to forcefully rotate, you do it like this. But still, the pressure is on my back leg. It's not on my front leg. It's very slow and it takes a lot of energy. There is no reason for us to throw from the back leg. So we want to get to the front leg as soon as possible when we are coiled like this. What I think is that Anthony is trying to force the upper body to rotate. But the thing is, you really don't have to rotate at all, actually. Only thing you have to do is to come from your back leg to your front leg like this. I am shifting pressure now. Back leg, coil, front leg, uncoil. I am not rotating at all. But rotation is what you see happening. And yeah, it is happening, but I don't rotate forcefully. And this is a misconception that is causing a lot of the troubles for amateurs because they do something like rotating before it would have happened anyway. And this is called bad timing. When you come from back leg to the front leg and rotate like this, just by pushing down, you don't need to rotate, but if you try to rotate, you are doing it too early. All actions that you do forcefully or consciously that would have happened anyway will be too early. And that is bad timing. So how to fix this for good? Go to this position, back leg already on toes. When you take your run up, your X step, whatever, walk up, try to keep the back leg as weightless as possible. So be on your toes. Coil and try to put pressure on your front leg. This will open your hips like this and drag your back leg behind the front leg. 
This is what great players do, like Simon Lizoth here. The back leg is weightless. The front leg hits the ground. And when the pressure shift starts to go from back to front, there is not much weight on the back, a lot of weight on the front, the hips start to rotate. And when the hips rotate, while you're still on the coil position, this creates a rubber band effect here. A lot of tension, a lot of tension that needs to uncoil. It's like a spring that we twist, 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 twist until it forces itself to unload. This is what we want to achieve. And it has nothing to do with the upper body doing this motion because it happens in the lower body. If you think about the upper body or the rear arm or anything else, or the head even, you are too early. And this is why you struggle with late releases and uh, loss of power. So once again, you coil, go forward, put the pressure on the front leg and you're in the power pocket already. And then you do this. So simple. Just jam your front leg to the ground and throw. Good luck.